everyone, I'm back with the review of the matches that were played. The first match was played between Qatar and Senegal. Senegal dominated the game. Qatar uh, was very defensive. It was surprising to see them defend so deep in their own half uh, because this was the they had already faced a defeat and this was a match that was important for them to win. But and uh, and uh, before the match, uh, I, I was thinking they would come with uh, you know more firepower with all guns blazing. They would press high, show more intent. But um, I was surprised to not see that at all from Qatar. Um, they were happy to defend in their own half. They did create a few chances, but Senegal um, had a comfortable win, three-one win against uh, Qatar. Uh, Dia scored the first goal. Qatar just didn't look as like a side who wanted to compete for those three points. Um, they were happy to defend. They did manage to make it two-one uh, at 78 78 minutes when uh, Montari scored. But other than that, there weren't really um, good chances. There wasn't any intent. Um, the kind of preparation and the kind of build-up that was created around these Asian uh, giants and the Asian champions um, before this World Cup, uh, it didn't really come through. Although Qatar did get their first goal of uh, of the World Cup, but it wasn't enough. Um, Senegal managed to score another goal in the 80, 84th minute to get all three points in this uh, Pool A. Now this result makes. Pool A really interesting. Group A really interesting. If we look at the points table, uh, Netherlands and Ecuador are at the top. Although Senegal uh, did get three points, but Netherlands and Ecuador, because of their draw, they have uh, managed to. They are now on four points each, and Senegal has three points. So this would make the next game really, really interesting between Ecuador and Senegal to decide that. Um, you know the first two spots in this pool A. The other game from Group A was between Netherlands and Ecuador. Uh, when we saw the lineup, it did feel like uh, it could go in favor of Netherlands. But when the game actually started, apart from the early few minutes where Netherlands did look like a strong side, Ecuador completely dominated the game, created more chances, had more ball possession, had more clear-cut chances on goal, and they were unfortunate to not uh, be able to convert. Um, but uh, Gakpo did get the first goal for Netherlands in the early minutes. And I think in the fifth minute, um, Netherlands got that early goal courtesy of Klassen, who got the start for Netherlands this time. Uh, he was substituted in the last uh, match. He came in as a substitute in the last match, but he was in the starting eleven. The goal that was conceded by Ecuador came uh, started by a mistake from. Netherlands uh, goalkeeper. He tried to clear the ball, but uh, it didn't go too far. Didn't get a good connection. Frankie De Jong making us uh, making us error uh, in the midfield where he lost the ball through which the build up started for Ecuador in their own half. The first shot that first shot was taken by Estrada, I believe, but uh, which was beautifully saved by Nopert. But uh, in the in the follow up, Valencia again for Ecuador. Gets on the score sheet and becomes and creates history by scoring in six consecutive matches for Ecuador. He is a legend for Ecuador. He did, although um, although at the end of this match he did struggle with injury, which he had taken uh, in the last game, and there were doubts about his fitness. Um, but in the dying minutes of the match, he we could e easily see that he was really struggling with his uh, knee injury. And let's see if he can be fit for the next match because he. Is really really important for Ecuador. Uh, he is he is the only person who scored for Ecuador in the last two matches, and uh, he's there's no there's probably no replacement of Valencia. So it'll be interesting to see if Valencia can um, can be fully fit for the next game, which for the next game, which is going to be really crucial for Ecuador if they want to um, move it move to the next round. The other match that was played was between Wales and Iran from Group B. Wales had one point. Iran lost to England in the previous match, six-two. Um, so going into this match, Iran, um, I felt was taking had to take a lot of positives from that England game. Although they did concede six, but they managed to score two goals against England. And I was uh, hoping that Iran would take that confidence in this match because they are known to be the Asian powerhouse. Although they didn't uh, perform like that against England. But I did have a belief that against Wales, they should be able to put up a good show against a, a competitive side, uh, uh, Wales. 
in this match wales did keep a major majority of the possession but iran took more shots they looked more threatening they it felt like they had more intent and by the end of the game they they did look like a fitter side compared to wales they wales did seem a little, little bit uh, struggling with with maybe the temperature or uh, maybe with the fitness levels but uh, iran showed that intent and that first goal came uh, quite late in the match in the 90th minute the first goal uh, was scored by cheshmi um but it was all through the hard work uh, they they wanted it more they uh, looked like they they had more eager eagerness to score and get the three points and that is uh, why they got another goal after that on counter attack where uh, in the second goal it was four versus two situation in the end where only two players from wales could drag back and there were four iranian players there to finish the goal which ultimately came again by ramin who scored a beautiful goal it and the good thing about those goals from iran was they were really good goals they were quality goals the second goal that was scored was a goal that was chipped above the goalkeeper when he came up, came down to narrow down ramin he chipped the ball over the goalkeeper it was a world class finish and that is the good part of this game so iran now have scored four goals in this world cup and look really strong and i'm sure they will take this confidence into the next game against usa because that is going to be a really crucial game again this group b is really really tight if you look at the points table and the next game will decide who goes through to the next round the final game of the day was between england and usa i did say before this match that england although scored six goals but conceded two goals against iran and that probably wasn't the best test of this england squad because iran just didn't look like the team that they are they didn't perform well they looked overwhelmed by facing a big team like england uh, but today was the real test of england against usa with young dynamic squad which looked more hungry today which looked like they were not scared of the mighty england um and they did uh, look like they believed in in themselves and why would they not having that kind of midfield and uh, you know the young youth energy of course, and with the grit and mentality that usa is known for that's what they came came down on the pitch with against england who was continuously under pressure usa dominated this game england was constantly under pressure they pinged them back every time harry maguire had the best game today for england and that says a lot about this english squad and how they performed tonight for some reason phil foden wasn't put in into this game alexander arnold did not feature in this game um mount started this match ahead of the names that i've taken kane obviously was there sterling started saka was on the right rice and bellingham had a decent game but defenders had more to do today than the midfield and i did say before this game that this game would be a battle of the midfield where at the end of the game mckenny and adams won this battle because they absolutely dominated that midfield winning the ball ball retrievals were high they looked hungry they looked energetic they were everywhere and and it was really good to see this usa team hungry where whereas england just um, did not show up um they did not look interested uh, did not score uh, did not create a lot of chances usa did look and that is that says a lot about this english squad and um and then again there were doubts about how far can england make make it in this world cup because they have a, a very geographical and politically because they have a test against wales in the next match although on goal difference they are they are still ahead and they are still topping the table but to make a deep run in this world cup it's going to be really hard considering they this english squad did not perform up to the level that they can yet again